What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy and I am back with another reaction video on my Smith Family TV channel. Yeah. Anyways, I usually don't do basketball reactions, but as y'all know, Russell Westbrook was traded for Chris Paul and a few draft picks over the course of the summer in 2019. Apparently, somehow they both ended up playing each other in this playoffs so i watched the game already i know what happened i know we spanked that ass like we was spanking that ass spanking that ass like morris brown back in drumline but i just want to watch it with y'all because i want to have fun with it westbrook of course was out due to his quiet injury hopefully we can see him game two maybe game three hopefully we go up to him so he can come back and he don't have to play as much. But other than that, let's get this video started. Original link can be left in the description box below from ESPN. This video is six minutes. Let's get it. It's actually the first time that they have faced each other since Houston made that big trade, shipping Clint Capella out of town. As Danilo Gallinari see, gets the thunder on the board first. I ain't see y'all let like that. But I did see this shit. Oh, yeah. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. I said that all last night. Kill her. Bro. People keep talking about we need a big man and all this other stuff, bro. We're straight. We don't need no big. Do you see how we hooping? I don't care. Oh, yeah. Kill her. Kill her. Oh, right back. Kill her one more time. One more time for oh. Hey. G. And anybody who called me a bandwagon, first of all, I've always been in love with watching James Harden. One, because he's left-handed and I'm left-handed. Only reason I was always going against him is because Westbrook. Everybody know my favorite two point guards is always D Rose and Westbrook. Then I threw in Steph in 2012. Then after 2012, I threw in Dame. Then when Dame came into the league and shit. And then I had John Wall in there back in 2011 because he went to Kentucky. I wanted to go to Kentucky. I got a list full of point guards that I like, but I got to go against them because they're going against my first two favorites. So hush with all that bandwagon shit. Restricted area, the best in the league. He blocks shots. He runs the floor. He's done a very good job. I ain't gonna pause the video no more though. I'ma just talk over it because y'all don't care about the sound anyway. Y'all just wanna hear my reaction. Oh yeah, Uncle Jeff! Uncle Jeff was hooping too. Uncle Jeff was hooping too last night. I ain't gonna need lie. Oh yeah, another one. Uncle Jeff was in his biggity bag. He was in a suitcase. He said, fuck the Duffy, I'm in a suitcase. They was weak. That was weak. No, it's all love for OKC, though. I still watch them. Like, I don't just switch teams that easy. Like, I still watch OKC. They got players that I, I've watched and I've admired, like Steven Adams, Chris Paul, Amidou Diallo, Dennis Schroeder. Uh, I just got hooked. <clears throat> I mean, hip <clears throat> to Shea. EG was hooping too. To I'm so glad we got him back because Austin Rivers ain't doing shit. See the run by Houston. Hey, trigger. Swag out, shorty. Daniel. Daniel is a great. Or Daniel, Daniel. I don't know how you say it. He's a great, like, pickup for the Rockets. Like, he's amazing. But Uncle Jeff was in that bag. Caught him sleeping. Caught him sleeping. Caught him, yeah. Caught him sleeping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pat, Pat, Pat Riley. Pat, Pat. Pat, Pat, Pat Riley. Talk your shit, easy. Oh, yeah. I'm mad that they picked him up after Westbrook was gone. Because if Westbrook had him before they traded him, I think we would have went further in the playoffs that year instead of losing to Damon like that. Because Danilo is a great pickup. Like, he really was nice in Denver, but the way he playing now is not the same Danilo. Oh, yeah, kill her. Kill her. They had to put him back on the bench. I don't even know why he in. He, he not game ready yet. I don't know why he was in. James is fucking him up. Oh, yeah, Rocco. See, Danilo. Danilo, nice. He's nice. That's why I wish Westbrook would have had him back then. It would have been way better. James. I said I won't go pause. Fuck. James Harden. 
is the third best scorer ever. I'm never going to switch Kobe and Mike. But James, I'm going to call it a three-way tie with them. James is James slightly at, almost at one by himself though. Mm, I wish he would have dunked. If Harden would have dunked one time, I probably would have got lit last night. But you know, you got to save your legs when you only got Westbrook. Oh yeah, kill her! Stop playing with him. Harden is a different breed, bro. He don't lose in the first round. That's one thing about Harden. He don't lose in the first round except when they played OKC back in the day. I wish that was on. But I love t -Fur. Oh, yeah. Need him. Of course, so much made about the relationship between Harden and Paul and all the reports. This game got ugly quick, though. I I didn't expect this game to get that ugly that quick. Like, I was sitting there watching it because I was editing the vlog I just put out. Make sure y'all go over there and watch that on the, on this channel. And um, I didn't know. I was just like, damn. Like, every time I look up, the score was worse. He was... Between him and Dame, I ain't gonna watch that that game because my homies, I got homies that like LeBron. And if I talk too much smack, they gonna get upset, and I don't feel like arguing with them right now. Unless y'all want to see it, let me know if y'all wanna want me to start watching these NBA games. Yeah, I I get in tune, but right now I'm not. Oh yeah, kill her, kill her, kill her. Oh, 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 oh! I ain't see all that now. When we hitting threes, it's over. Because the team that make the most threes is who win the game every time. Ah, that's like y'all down twenty. It's amazing what a little bit of ball and player movement can this do. This is crazy, to get you Oh, yeah. Shots, and we haven't seen much oh, yeah, they both did flopping. And why? That we see Harden matched up with Chris Paul. And under the basket, I ain't see that play. Great drive. Chris Paul tries to reach. Up internships and creating a course in the business oh, yeah, CP. of sports, media, Ugh. and entertainment. Ugh. Ugh. That was so fluid, action, like. Progress. All the time. When people do that, it's like a slow ass step, but it was like in one motion the whole time. Oh, yeah. Hey, I want to learn his floater. I'm going to study that. I like his floater. Like, it catch you off guard. It's like he throwing it, but he in the. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Uncle Jeff. Game one domination here. By the Houston Rockets. Yeah, it got ugly James quick. Harden. It got ugly quick. You throw Russ in there, that's an extra 20 points. points. They get a Jesus. From their second unit. Thanks for watching. E yeah, we're going to pause it right there so we don't hit hit with no copyright claim from ESPN. But other than that, I'm going to leave originally to the video in the description box below from ESPN. And y'all can go over there and watch it if you didn't want to watch my reaction. Um... If y'all want to see me start watching some other teams in the bubble, I'll, I'll react to them. But right now, I'm just watching strictly Rockets games because that's my team. Once they lose, then I might just say forget it and watch certain teams like that I know y'all going to want to see. I mean, I love watching basketball. So as, as long as y'all ask me to watch it, I'm watching. But at the same time, I am going to mix in other content into these videos. I'm not just going to do strictly sports. Otherwise, I would make a sports reaction channel and then... I would just have this channel as my regular reaction channel with vlogs and challenges that I do with my friends when I come back. Um, right now, I'm going to give y'all updates since the video was so short. Um, right now, I'm going to school for digital media. One of my classes is teaching me how to edit, which I already, I'm kind of ahead of everybody in my class already, so I got to move slower, but I'm basically backtracking learning the new software. So I'm learning Adobe Premiere Pro so I could, if I ever get like a job, I know how to edit on Final Cut Pro and Adobe. Then I got one class for like learning like sound, so like how radio stations and podcasts and stuff be set up. So I'm gonna learn that. Then I got another class that's gonna teach me about filming and storyboarding. 
I don't know nothing about storyboarding this, but so I'm not gonna speak on it. But my teacher was mainly talking about it's like drawings that you draw up to basically tell the camera person how do you want to portray this image of content, basically. Um, and web design, I'm just about to learn how to make thumbnails and stuff, so it really don't matter about that. But like I said, I'm basically going to school. I mean, my parents are paying, but it doesn't cost as much as people think. And I, I think I just got a scholarship for one of them. I mean, yeah, I chose the route to just learn it from somebody, and then I'm gonna put my own spin on it, as opposed to just listening to people on YouTube tell me stuff or having to pay people on YouTube to tell me how to grow my channel. And really, I'm not even here to try to grow my channel. I'm just here to like, <clears throat> this is like practice for me if somebody ever needs me to do these things this is all what this is but i've become so comfortable with this camera in front of me that i love making videos now so anyways that's gonna do it for the video it's jeremy also known as smith family tv and i'll see y'all next time man get on up out of here make sure y'all masking up too because if y'all ain't masking up you're nasty <laughs>